ಸದಾಶಿವಸಂಭಾ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯಮ್ಯಮ ಅಸ್ಮದಾಚಾರ್ಯಪರ್ಯಂತ ವಂದೇ ಗುರುಪರಂಪರ I welcome you all with my love and respects. Today I will speak on another one, dimension of secrets of spiritual healing. Yesterday I was sharing a truth that all you need to get healed is just to spend little time in the higher frequency. What do I mean? by the word spending time to spend time you need to have time <laughs> having time does not mean not having work understand not having anything to do does not mean you have time no you need to have time only then you can spend it what do i mean by the word have time you need to have time means the time is supposed to be your own you should be the owner of your time not that your thoughts will be owner of your time or something else will be owner of your time look in simple thing the simple word are you owner of your time no everybody else except you owns your time everybody else except you owns your time the whole world is nothing but a huge fight to own more and more people's time that's all whether it is the field of politics or field of art or field of science or even the field of religion it is nothing but if you own more people's time you are a big guy that's all in every field trying to own time actually the subtle way of trying to own more time is reason for giving birth to kids and bringing them up as you want and fulfilling what you wanted in your life in their life just wanted to have a little more time wanted to own more time you don't understand this important secret if you know how to own your time you will not be trying to own others time means you will not be bullying around you will not be bossing around you will not be destroying lives whether it is in the field of industry or politics or religion or science if you own more people's time you are big guy but in spirituality if you own your time you are a big guy owning time first thing understand time is a matter only then you will have respect for yourself and you will understand you can own time as long as you think time as something mysterious ununderstandable uncatchable undescribable no you will think that is too big time is a simple matter just like this kerchief and key you can own it
second thing desire to hate everything which tries to own your time everything everything anything which tries to own your time hate it just escape from it even if it is guru if you think i am trying to own your time escape from me understand if you think i am trying to own your time you have a wrong concept about me i am constantly trying to make you own your time i can give you a very powerful technique to own your time take 21 days and make your routine very stable like a morning 6 o'clock you will be in this spot doing this 6:30 you will be in this spot doing this 7:30 you will be in this spot doing this like this from morning till night make a clear routine and decide for any reason the routine is not going to change and tell your mind you are supposed to be comfortable and happy in that time doing that that's all you will own time this is a very powerful process understand i did this i did this in my life i still remember in onkareshwar i did this i'll make a routine morning whatever time i used to get up from that time to going to bed i know thoroughly at this moment i'll be near this stone sitting not doing anything nothing much to do but even then i'll be sitting at this moment near this stone and thinking about this standardized it standardized it standardize the routine just for 21 days and decide i am going to be doing this happily nothing can be done the body is frozen that is that time the body is going to be like that in that place means you eliminate the disturbance of bio memory from your life that's one of the major enemy you are trying to fight with two enemies at a time no eliminate one enemy make one enemy a handicap he has no more right over you now fight with the enemy of not owning the time see if you try to learn a language and concept both newly you will not be able to learn pick up a book which you know thoroughly the whole concepts read in a new language you learn the language or pick up a book which you know the language but new concept you learn the concept but if concept and language both are new you will not learn both so your life your body language that daily routine is the new language and the concept is a new concept if both you are trying to learn you will not be able to you will miss it so freeze the body language this is the time you will be coming out and this is the way you will be walking and make the whole life as ritual just clear frozen ritual you may think what is this it is completely against swami ji's teachings he always asks you to be spontaneous spontaneous now the purpose is different understand the purpose is different actually if you do what i am saying you will understand the inner spontaneity after you catch the thread of inner spontaneity the outer spontaneity will happen i am teaching you the technique to catch the inner spontaneity i can tell you if you catch the inner spontaneity technique one moment spending with me is enough the initiation will happen not only just spiritual healing initiation itself will happen freeze the whole day routine morning 5 o'clock you will just wake up i am really surprised these guys are following the routine properly <laughs> now really they don't miss dropping at least one leaf and coming and sitting for my morning message see they are there i think they are not able to see from here so they are sitting there every day they are here and the pujari says they are not there after this morning session 
Once I leave the temple, they are not there. Only next day morning, they are there. And he says, even for night stay, they don't come here. Only that morning, 8 o'clock. And funny thing is that uh, last two days, I was not here, few days, they were not there. Now, they came morning and went away. They were not there. And like them, make a routine. <laughs> make a routine. And actually they understand, they know, they are understanding what I am talking, I am talking about them. <laughs> Blessed fellows, they are very clearly understanding, they are feeling a little shy, that's all. Make a routine, clear routine, define it and tell yourself physical or mental disturbance is not going to change this routine. If my mind goes crazy or body dies, it is going to happen during this routine. <laughs> At some place suddenly body may fall or anything may happen, I am not bothered. But this is not going to be changed. Freeze it from morning till night just for 21 days and go with it completely ritualistically. You will not see me without going and touching exactly the same spot. If you see my routine, it will be same spot where I put my head, Nanandeshwara temple. It will be same spot where I put my head on the banyan tree. It will be same step. I am just teaching you a process. Freeze it. Freeze it. And 21 days, morning till night, decide body movement can't be changed. I have only one freedom. I can enjoy it or suffer with it. That is frozen. That is completely frozen like a robo movement. Physicality is frozen. Psychology, I have a freedom. Should I enjoy or should I suffer? Within 21 days, you will see time is a matter and you will own it. Something will happen in you. See, when I say unclutch, I know very clearly it is a solid happening, not some vague thinking. Same way, when I say own time, if you continuously try to unclutch and fight, fight, fight with it for 10, 15 days, Immediately you will understand unclutching is a solid happening. It is not just vague thinking or some daydreaming. No. When you sit for unclutching, unclutching is happening. Oh God. Unclutched. Same way. Within these 21 days you will catch what I call time as matter. You will catch it. You will see, oh, time is a matter, I can push or pull, I can rewind or fast forward. Try this technique, you will own time. When you try to own time, even if you spend one or two moments with master, not only spiritual healing, even the initiation will happen. It is a very powerful process. If you want, you can even take up the 21 days of Anyadavasa, means staying in unknown place, maybe just in one room, have food and rest, whole day, decide your routine, freeze it and leave it. You will see, your mind simply will catch the time. 
your mind will raise to the higher frequency than the time frequency. That is what I call catching time. Let us go to catch the time. Hmm? The mind should be so terribly bored, made to feel bored, it should catch time. Nothing else, no other feeding should be done for mind. No food. Simply it will catch time. Agoris do that only. Agoris are very powerful people, they do not give time, any food. Let us catch time. Let you all experience and radiate the eternal bliss. Nityananda. Thank you.